What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Sunday. Abby and Ryan are over here sorting manuals. Yep. And uh, yeah, we don't really have much to talk about just yet because we just got here. But we have nine orders to take care of right now. So we're going to do that first. And then we're going to get started and uh, just get as much stuff done as we can. So that's it for now. All right, guys. So we actually have three trade-ins to show you. Um, we have more and more people calling the store asking if we're open and then when we say we're just doing curbside they ask if we're still buying stuff and we are but we're trying to be kind of selective we're not buying a lot of 360 games and stuff like that we're mainly just trying to get Nintendo stuff so we have had three trade-ins so far this morning the first one here we have NES Remix Pack for the Wii U Paper Mario Color Splash Scribble Knots Unlimited Super Mario Maker Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival and Nintendo Land. So that was the first little trade. And then second here, we have a Nintendo 64. Comes with cables, one blue controller, which he said he got it from us. One thing he did not get from us, though, is this copy of Super Mario 64, because this is a bootleg. Can you tell? I told him that it was a bootleg, <laughs> and... Like, you can really tell from the back. The yeah. screws are usually a dead giveaway. I could tell from the label on the front, though, when I first looked at it. I was like, oh, it looks pretty clean when I saw it in the bag. And then I pulled it out, and I was like, yeah, that's a bootleg. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we always tell people, he said that we could just have it. I told him I can't pay for it because we're not going to sell it. And he's like, oh, I don't really care. I'm not going to do anything with it anyway. So we have a bag of bootleg games in the back that we just hold on to when we get them. Sometimes we'll give them away to people if they want them, or we'll use them to show people what a bootleg looks like. So that'll just be added to that. And then lastly, the roommate from the guy with the N64 had some Nintendo Switch games. So we got Trine 4, Nightmare Prince, Child of Light Ultimate Edition, and Valiant Hearts, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, Diablo 3, The Eternal Collection, and Sonic Mania Plus. The case artwork on this one has some water damage. Other than that, they all look like they're in pretty good shape. So, can't complain about Switch games. That's always cool. Oh, yeah. So, uh, Abby's getting some lunch right now for us. And, what, we finished stickering all the posters because that, that wasn't done. We finished all our orders that we had for today so far. So, I think we're going to work on consoles, Ryan. Yes. So, it has been quite a few hours. It's like seven something right now. Um, Abby's been working on testing handheld systems. She's got a bunch of stuff. And we've been kind of just working on cleaning up the store. Uh, we got the rest of the manual, most of the manual sorted. So those are all ready. Um, made room back here and fit the, the little mat. mat back there. And then we also got all these. So those are all out here now. We had to take them apart to make them fit. And we got them all sorted, organized, and properly labeled. And then it's not done, but you know, back here we have some of the manuals and stuff ready. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where we're at right now. And then we went through everything and counted up all of the consoles that we have. So everything back here and then everything that's out um so i've been entering those into the system i thought that it wasn't going to take as long as it is because i wasn't thinking about having to reprice stuff prices on everything has pretty much changed in the past few months since we've been closed so i have to redo everything and pricing a console is not as easy as pricing a game with a game you just look it up on price charts but you can't trust price charts for a console so it's a little bit more difficult because we have to, you know, we try to go off of eBay, but we also have to go off of what, you know, our other local stores in the area might be selling stuff for or whatever it is. So, yeah, it's a little, little difficult, but um, I'm over halfway done with getting them all entered. So that's good. But uh, yeah, I don't think there's only a couple consoles that I have decreased the price on, unfortunately. I'd love for everything to just be the same prices that they were before, but we called another store that usually has a ton of stuff and they only had two GameCubes and one of them was in the box and one of them was region modded. So we couldn't even like, you know, get a price for a standard system. 
we have like 16 or 17 game cubes right now so i don't know um the old prices that we have just aren't really gonna work i lowered the price on a few things i lowered the price on i believe the odyssey 2 the gold star 3do and i think like maybe like one of the atari systems i'm not sure but we still have a lot to do gotta get all the boxed consoles that are up around the edges um there's a lot on that side and have you guys seen the price for 32x's recently just like one without the box but just one that includes all the cables they're selling for like 150 dollars which is insane that's what we had the complete and box ones priced at i don't know if the box adds too much value to that price but it's so crazy so we're just gonna keep working and I think we'll probably be able to finish the consoles today and then we just have to do the rest of the toys, the strategy guides, and then like the candy, which it's not really a big deal. So we're going to get back to work. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on where we are because we haven't really filmed too much today, but things are going smoothly. Tags for the consoles are printing, which means that they are done. These are the games that we got traded in earlier, guys, and I just got these into the system as well, so these are on the website right now. We also got the Winnie the Pooh TV and DVD player up on the shelf here. So we ended up getting quite a bit of stuff done today, guys, which I'm very, very happy about. And tomorrow I'm hoping that we can do just as much, if not more. Um, I, finished, I finished the majority of the consoles. There are still a few that I have not entered in because we had taken price tags off of some of the stuff that was on the shelf already. Um, primarily the like some of the boxed consoles. And because they didn't have price tags, I didn't know if they were complete or if they were box only because we have a mix of both. And I didn't feel like pulling them down and checking. So I just left those ones out. So we have a few more systems to do, but for the most part, the systems are done. They are they're at least in the system and the tags are printed. Tomorrow we're going to have Ryan start going through and putting the tags on. And we will double check all the stuff in the boxes. Um, clean and test anything we need to. But everything should be tested. So that's pr st some stuff might just need cleaning. So that should be it. Uh, but other than that we got, we got quite a bit done. Um, I know today's vlog was kind of short. We were just primarily focused on working rather than you know like filming um and unfortunately that's probably how it's going to be for the next few days we just we really really want to get stuff done so that we can reopen and our goal right now that we set today is to try to open at the very very latest by the first of next month and so obviously we should be able to get through the stuff that we need to do before then um, Abby's hope is that we can finish our stuff and then have like a week to chill and relax before we have to go back to the store and just open, you know, full time and all that. So, um, that's the plan. That's, that's what the goal is right now. Hopefully we can hit that. Um, I don't see any reason why we couldn't. So tomorrow systems should be 100% completed. I will probably be finishing the toys tomorrow as well that shouldn't take too long at all and then who knows hopefully we'll get the store more clean and you know get everything kind of put together a little bit more um we have the strategy guides to do as well <laughs> and that's not going to be fun um i'm sure we can get that done but uh, it's gonna be a pain and it's it's gonna take a while um but other than that, for the most part, all the stuff that we have to get in the system will be done, which is cool. Um, we just need to get our receipt printer set up, get the new credit card terminal set up, and just get the store clean, and then that's, you know, that's pretty much it. So, I think that's going to do it for today's vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, don't forget to check back in tomorrow, and hopefully we'll have some more stuff to show you. I'll try to do a little bit more filming, even if it's just us kind of, you know, just like messing around and filming and just being funny. We'll, we'll figure something out. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.